My name is Romana Kachai, I'm one of the ENT consultant surgeons at Imperial College. I also work in the ENT clinic at the Medical Chambers in Kensington. I'd like to talk to you about swallowing today. Swallowing disorders are very common and affect a wide range of the population. I commonly see them in my clinic and patients complain of an array of symptoms that include problems swallowing solids or liquids or even sometimes just a simple sensation of a lump in the throat. The causes of swallowing can be variant, but often in clinic it is wise to be able to ascertain what we think may be the main source of it. With swallowing, you need to also look at whether you have other symptoms that may be related to it. We will commonly ask you whether you have any nasal symptoms which may be causing a drip of catarrh from the back of the nose into the throat. This over time may also lead to symptoms of a lump in the throat. Other causes of swallowing disorders may also be associated with breathing difficulties and this is something that we can ascertain in the clinic through an examination again. Voice changes are very important when it comes to swallowing and we need to make sure that there is no link between the two. In clinic, when you are seen by your GP and your symptoms are unrelenting for a period of time, the cause for concern with regards to being able to not eat and drink properly can be anxiety driven. It is wise to be requesting an opinion from your ENT surgeon at the earliest opportunity if you are concerned. When you do come to the clinic, we are able to examine your mouth and your throat, and in particular also provide a nasendoscopy service, which enables us to examine your throat properly, which includes a look at C at your larynx, and also at the top of your pharynx, which is also connecting to the swallowing tube, the esophagus. There's a wide range of things that we can at least relieve your anxiety for, including making sure that there's nothing adverse, no signs of inflammation, and the most common reason why swallowing may be affected would include reflux, which affects large part of the population. Reflux is quite evident often on examination in the clinic and can be treated very simply with what we call medication in the form of a PPI. Now then, examination at the time is essential. Treatment usually can be up to two to three months. And in the event the swallowing is still a problem, we may need to do some further investigations to reassure you that there is nothing serious to worry about. Investigations can include what we say a barium swallow or even further imaging such as a CT scan. We will always ensure that we provide clear evidence for anything that we find, in particular if everything seems reasonably well.